Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Flipbox widget. So let's dive in. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say, if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend that you get it. And if you want to support my channel and get Elementor Pro, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Elementor Pro elements in videos and making a nice big playlist for everyone. So if you want to check those out, be sure to subscribe for more of those videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So the flip box element is a cool way to add an effect to your site out of the box. And it's honestly one of the better features that come right out of the box within Elementor as far as the Pro widgets go here. So let's just scroll down on this mock restaurant website. And I'm going to go through an example. It might look a little bit funny when I'm going through it, but I really just want to show you the flexibility of the Flipbox widget itself. So let's go and add new section. I'm just going to make this one too wide, or you can just create one and then double it if you want. But for here, I'm just going to make it too wide. And then I'm going to go and click over here and search for Flipbox in the search area. And there it is. Let's drag it over and drop it in. And from here, we can see that we have a few different options to start. We have over here, you can have none for this icon. You can add an image or you can have a star. So I'm just going to go through this icon real quick first. If you click on it, you can actually add different icons. So maybe you wanted to add something related to the service that you're providing or something like that. Let's just add this wine glass right here. And you could write something right here like best wine in town. And then below, you could have a description about the wine that you serve. And that could be a simple way to do that. If you see where it says view over here, you can put stacked and it has a circle go around it. Or you can go and put framed and then that will just be a circle without any filling in it. And then you have square right here. And again, you can do stacked with a square so it has that shaded color around it right there. So I'm just going to go with framed and I'll just go with circle in this case. Well, maybe I'll go with square. I think it looks a little bit better. So that is how you can easily set up something like that if you want. On the back side of this, I'm going to show you how to add an image. So let's just click update right here. And then we'll go to back right here. And on this one, we're going to go to background. Let's go to classic for background type. And here you can add an image right here into the background. So let's just say I want to add this image for this restaurant. And I'll just click insert media. And after it's inserted here, you can see the text on the screen. And you can see that the image actually doesn't cover the whole screen. So right here, it's cut off a little bit and then it starts to repeat. So what we can do is go position, center, center. And then you can see now it's on both sides showing this, but at least the image is centered. And then size, we're going to go and make it cover. So then it literally covers the whole image right there. And then you could change the text color. So what you could do is go over to where it says style. And then within this area, we're on the front one right now. Let's go and change it to the back. And we'll go down and you can see where it says title and it has color. So if you wanted to add a different color title right here, that's black. Let's go and make it red, for example, green. You'd have to find something that works. And you may want to put a gradient over this image to make it fit a little bit better but it gives you an idea of how to change your title heading right here. I'm going to make it darker for the description text color. You can do the same thing. I'm just going to make it darker as well, even though it's probably even harder to see when it's dark. Maybe you make it a blue color or something like that. And then below you have a button down here. You can choose the size. You can make it medium. You can make it large. It is all up to you. I'm going to make it small just because I think it fits better. And again, you have the option to change the text color right here. So let's just go with something like a blue color right here. And you can also change the background color. So let's go here and you can change it just like that. So now you can actually see that text a little bit better with that black with the blue text. And also you can change the border color if you want as well. So if you make that black, it's not going to show a border. It's kind of cool to have that feature. But I like to have at least some kind of border around it, even if it is a little bit different color like that. So I know that looks a little bit weird right now, but that is just basically showing you that you can add an image as your background image, and then you can start to tweak it as needed. If we go back to content, I just really quickly wanted to show you if we go to back 
here is where you would add your link at and you could change your link text right here from click here to something else now let's say you wanted to have the image be a little bit bigger you can go to settings and then you can change the height of the actual widget itself so you can make it something like 400 here and then if we hover over it it's going to be more stretched out because we have it on cover in this case and that is how you could change that you also can change the effect so right now it is on flip by default if we change that to slide you'll see that feature you can see push right here so let's go back to slide again it slides up you can also have it slide down or left or right if you want so it's kind of cool that it just slides in like that if we go to zoom in that's what it will look like right here and you can go also to zoom out if we hover over it that's what it looks like and then we can have fade so it just fades from one to the other kind of a cool effect as well but with this flip one right here we have this other option where it says 3d depth if we were to click on this you're going to see it go into effect so watch it when it flips watch the text in particular you can see that it kind of flips with it it does this kind of cool effect with it that you don't get when you have the 3d off you don't have the same effect it doesn't hover above it like that so if we put it back on you can see it kind of goes with it so i'm just going to click update right here and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go and right click on this and just duplicate it and then i'll just delete this one over here so i could have just copied it as well so you have the option to do either one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a similar one to this on the back side so hopefully they're going to look pretty close if i go over here i just can click on that and instead of a wine glass i'm going to make something else hopefully i can find something food related you can always type in at the top but believe it or not it doesn't have food in this icon set when i typed it in maybe if i type in something like pizza and there it is at least i have a pizza slice right here i'll just add that in insert and now we have these two different ones with pizza in there so what i can also do is go to background right here and i can change the color if i could go to gradient let's say i want it to be this color as the primary color i can click on this grab this hex code right here copy that and i'll go back up here to the color and i'll just simply paste that in and now we have a different color for this background for this image i kind of like these ones how it looks right now more than the actual image ones that i have on the back sides here so i kind of think it would look better like this if you have maybe one that says wine and then on the back side it talks about some of the wines you have or your featured wine and then you could say your pizza and then maybe you have the price of the pizza on the back side so that's something that you might want to do to make it look a little bit better again if we wanted to we can go back over to where it says content and we can change this to be best pizza in town or something like that and here is where you could add a description below the image itself another thing that you could do before we wrap this up is you could add an image and that would go right in this place right here in place of that pizza icon so if you wanted to we could add this guy right in here and just change the thumbnail i've noticed it makes it better quality when you have it 300 300 in most cases for a bit larger image so if you wanted to you could do that and just have a person or a picture of pizza there if you didn't want the actual icon itself so that is an option that you could do as well so i hope this video was helpful and that you learned about the flipbox widget if you did please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a like and subscribe for more elementor related tutorials thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day